Hello, everybody, and welcome to Python for Everybody. Uh, we're going to do some code walkthrough, and if you want to follow through with the code, you can download the sample code um, from Python for Everybody. <clears throat> and so the code that we're going to play with is the Twitter spider code that is both talking to the Twitter API and talking to the, uh, to the database. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, run code that's going to hit the Twitter API much like we did in a previous chapter and we're going to retrieve the data but we're going to remember the data so we don't have to retrieve it again okay and so we're going to keep track of people's friends and what we're doing here is sort of illicitly uh, pulling down slowly but surely based subject to our rate limit we're pulling down uh, who our friends are and so let's take a look uh, we're going to use URL lib and URL lib error Twitter URL which was code that augments my URL to do all the OAuth calculation. We're going to get JSON data back. We're going to make a database and we have to import SQL because of the way uh, Python doesn't trust any certificates no matter how good they are. So this is our URL to talk to the Twitter API. We're going to make a database and again the way SQLite works is if this spider.sqlite doesn't exist it creates it. And we get ourselves a cursor and we're going to do a create table. Uh, this if not exists, some SQLs, but SQLite 3 does this. Create table if it doesn't exist. We want to start this over and over. Unlike the, the, uh, the tracks example, I want to start this over and over and not lose data. I want to, and this is a spidering process. And we'll see a lot of these. We want a restartable process where we use a database. So if we're starting with nothing and there's no, and there's no file of spider SQLite, it creates this table. And it's the name of the person, whether we retrieved it or not, and how many friends this person has that we know of in our database. Now this little bit is to deal with the SSL certificate errors. The certificates are totally fine, but Python doesn't trust any certificates by default, which is frustrating, but whatever. So here we're going to have a loop. We're going to ask for a Twitter account. We have to type quit to quit. If we hit enter in this case, we're going to actually read from the database an unretrieved uh, Twitter person and then grab all that person's friends. Okay. And um, and so then we're gonna we're going to we're, if we we're gonna do a, a fetch one get one and that's going to get the name of the first person the sub zero if we had more things than name here sub zero is the first of those fetch one means get one row from the database and sub zero means the first column of that first row and if this fails then we retrieved all the Twitter accounts um, and so you know. We're going to augment this Twitter URL using this makes, you can look at the twurl.py code. Um, this basically uh, requires the hidden.py file, which uh, has your keys and secrets in it. you got to get hidden.py updated. I've got it updated, but I'm not going to show you because it has my keys and secrets in it. Um, and so we're only going to take the first five, which means we're probably not going to find friends of friends of friends. It's only the most five recent ones. We could run this with a much higher number. Uh, to get to the, so we have more than one friend. We'll show the URL while we retrieve it. We will do our URL open, we'll do a read, and then we'll do a decode to make sure that this UTF, this will give us data in UTF-8, and then decode will give us data in Unicode, which is what we need inside of Python. We will ask for the headers from the, the, the connection. We'll say, give me the headers, give me a dictionary of the headers, and the X rate limiting header from the Twitter API uh, tells us when we're going to be told we can't use this API anymore because this is one of those things. Um, and then we're going to parse and load the data that we got from uh, from Twitter and get a uh, uh, I think it will I think it's a list. Um, yeah, it's a list. And then we could dump this if you want. In yours, you can undo that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we've just retrieved this person screen name and their friends and so the first thing we want to do is update the database and change the retrieve from zero to one and that's because we want we're going to use this to know about unretrieved so retrieved being one means we've already retrieved it and we did retrieve it so for that account we've retrieved it and then what we're going to do is we're going to parse that and so this is similar to the Twitter code we did previously in the web services chapter we're going to go through all the users we're going to find their screen name we're going to print the screen name out Okay, and um, then what we're going to do is uh, see if, uh, let's see, so we're going through all the users who are 
the friends of this person and we're going to say, oh, okay, let's select the friends from Twitter where the name is uh, the friend person. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to, if we're going to do a curve fetch one of this, this Twitter, the name of the friends, this is the friend screen name, right? So we're going to say, oh, okay, if we get this, we're going to get the friend screen name and we're going to get how many, how many friends this particular screen name has. If we find a URL, I, we find it in there, we're going to do an update statement and add one to their friend count, how many friends they have, and then keep track. This count here is not in the database, it's just so I can print it out at the end. If there is no record for this particular friend, um, we're going to insert them into it new and we're going to say, here's the new person that we just saw. Here, that's their name. We're going to set retrieve to zero and we're going to say that they have one friend. Okay. And then we're going to commit the we're going to commit the transaction and then we're going to close this at the end. Okay? So let's go ahead and run this. The first time it's going to create an empty database. So I'm going to say Python 3 TW Spider. So ls star sqlite. Nothing there. Python 3. Oops, that's because I removed it. Python 3 TW Spider.py. Okay, so I'm going to start with a Twitter account, Dr. Chuck. And so it's doing this retrieval, and don't worry, showing the token and the signature is not dangerous because you don't have the keys or the token, I mean the secrets and the token secrets, so don't get all too worried. So uh, I have 11 calls left, so I got to hope this all works. Uh, one of my friends is Stephanie Teasley, and I do these are in reverse order, so let's grab Stephanie. And... Um, ask for Stephanie's friends. So now we just retrieve Stephanie's friends and here are Stephanie's most recent friends. Uh, and then I can just hit enter and it'll randomly pick. Now let's see if I can in uh, the database. Let's open this up, file open database. Hope I don't lock myself. Sometimes it's a little scary when you look at the database um, and you're just checking. So this is what my tw database looks like. Uh, we retrieve uh, Stephanie, and uh, she has. This is how many people. So these these are the these are the friends of uh, Stephanie and me, and these are how many. I'm not in there. So we retrieve Stephanie, which was a friend. So let's go grab. Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's grab uh, Tim McKay, and get that one. Remaining ten. I don't have too many of these. Tim McKay, right? So there we go. Uh, remaining nine. Um, and so if I do a refresh on this, then you see I've got some more folks. If I hit enter here, it will retrieve, it'll pick one randomly based on uh, the retrieve being zero. So it won't pick Stephanie or Tim because they're zero, but we have lots of other folks to pick randomly. And we'll hit enter. So it picked, uh, um, who did it pick? It picked uh, screen name Live EDU TV, which is ironic because I'm recording this on Live EDU TV right now. And so we can keep hitting refresh and away we go. So I'm going to stop now because I only have eight remaining. And, uh, and so I'm going to type quit. And so we will see, uh, we'll see how that works. So that's how it works. Now remember that you've got to uh, edit the hidden.py file to make this work because we are talking to the Twitter API. If you uh, don't edit that file, um, it won't work for you. Okay, so I hope you find this useful. Cheers.